Why do you think green space in urban environments is important? I really don't know. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, I think it's important because, well, um, What are the different types of green space that we have in New York City? Um, the type of green space that we have in New York City are um, trees, grass, um, leaves. Grass and trees? Maybe rooftop gardens? Um, Central Park and Riverside Park. When asked to do an assignment on the importance of green space in urban environments, our preparatory division was confused. We didn't really know why green space was important or the benefits of it. Our principal, Rick Brown, decided to take us to see some urban green space firsthand so we could further understand the importance. Kids actually got very excited about this project. When we first started talking, while they certainly were familiar with the city, they really couldn't uh, place exactly the importance of urban green space in their own lives. What we really wanted to do was learn about it so that we had a sense of its importance for, in everyone's lives. We started out by visiting some sites. Very quickly, the kids began to see that there was a relationship between green space, open space, and their well-being. See, so welcome. So I'm, no, I'm the farm manager here, um, which means that I basically just oversee the farm in general, and that's mostly outside. Um, what gets planted, when it gets planted. Do you guys know, I mean, when you hear urban farming, what do you guys think? Why do you think we might be farming in the middle of New York City? Yeah. For, um, uh, what's it called? Like food sources, other than, for fresh organic food sources. We, we are an educational farm. That's our main goal. So we have, we have 11 schools that come down every week. Um, I mean, I think that, there have been more and more, there are more and more urban farms in the city, um, in New York, and they're, they're expanding, there's a lot more interest in them. When kids, when kids grow it themselves, they may not care about peppers or carrots, or they say, I don't like this, I don't like that, but when they grow it themselves and they get to watch it go from seed to plant to something that they can pull out of the ground and eat, they love it because they grew it themselves. And this urban farm of Barbary Park City that we're visiting is an educational farm to teach people about farming and where cute food comes from before it gets to their plate, which I believe is very good for people to know so that they don't know it just magically appears in the grocery store. I think it's very important that people understand where their food is coming from because their food is coming from miles away and they're getting exposed to so many chemicals and bacteria and it's really bad for the food and the person and it's better to grow food in your own community because it's good for yourself, it's good for the environment and you know exactly where your food is coming from. After visiting the Battery Park Urban Farm, we were curious to find out about more green space that was happening in our community on the Upper West Side. So we decided to check out the best green space in New York City, Central Park. When we went to Central Park, we uh, started to figure out that Central Park is not just a giant playground. It really, it has all these other areas for recreation, along with the kids' playgrounds. There are huge lawns, there are uh, fields for sports, there are outdoor theaters, and initially, when Central Park was first uh, made into a park, it was for more of the wealthier people in New York City, and now it's open to the whole city, and there's so many people who use it. 18 hours a day that it's really surreal what the city has um, really turned it into. I learned at the Westside Community Garden that it was built from an acre of parking lot 25 years ago and now it's this beautiful community garden that's used for holiday concerts, any type of concert gatherings, you can plant your own plants, vegetables, fruit, flowers, and it's really that simple. I really wanted to research more about community gardens, and I presented my findings to my classmates and to the parents, and one topic that came up was seed bombs. Um, I believe that if every New Yorker has one of these seed bombs, it can make a really huge impact with something so tiny. Um, if it was just an empty lot with just garbage around it, it would look pretty distasteful. 
We were starting to learn a lot about the importance of urban green space, but we wanted to know what we could do to help out our community. So we decided to meet with the community leaders to find out how we could get involved. Well, we came today to pick up bulbs, daffodil bulbs, that were donated to the neighborhood by the Columbus Avenue BID, which is the Business Improvement District. Um, they've been working very hard over the years to make Columbus Avenue as appealing and happy and open a place um, for pedestrians as possible. Um, Mandel is involved in this because we've been focusing a lot of study in school on the importance of green spaces. And um, I'm a member of Community Board 7 and so was asked if we would get involved in planting out some of these tree beds and also in studying the impact on green spaces in our daily lives. So I'm very excited that the kids were able to come and do this and Gail is an incredible proponent and supporter of green spaces in our neighborhood and education so thank you to her for making this possible. Well I, I'm so excited because like I said I happen to like the bike lane and one of the trees that came with the bike lane is right in front of our office. So you're gonna plant uh, the daffodils which will come up in the spring and we'll try to supplement that with uh, annuals. Because Community Board 7 formed um, a working group to make sure that great people like, like you students would be planting them so that in the springtime, you know, come up and the whole city will have a yellow hue <laughs> of daffodils everywhere. After meeting with the community board leader, we realized that we could make a difference in our community and the urban green space by planting bulbs up and down Columbus Avenue. Well, I just think it's so great. I mean, beautifying bike lanes, you know, what could be more progressive and positive for New York City? I learned that green space has many different assets that people may not think about, but um, and it's something the government should really invest in. And I learned that um, having green space outside, you can really, it can really combat depression because you could just take a walk and relax and it just keeps you happy. It's very impo important for us to have different species in New York City because it helps with the food chain. For a project we were doing rooftop gardens and one thing I learned about rooftop gardens that I did not before is that rooftop gardens are a source of food. I learned how much recreation contributes to a green space and that's always there. I think urban farming is very important because it allows our food to be grown locally. It starts something called culture exchange and when you have culture exchange you make friends and you learn about their backgrounds and everything which gives you something to talk about and then before you know it you're all friends. I learned about the importance of having access to a green space inside of a big city. I learned that rooftop gardens are are good for uh, planting your own food. We often take uh, green space for granted and we really need to step up to the plate and realize that uh, green space is not going to sustain itself. I think through this whole project our kids have gotten very very excited about just what they can do on their own and as a group to make uh, our environment just a bit better place. Uh, they're certainly much more aware they understand the importance of committing oneself to action, and I'm confident that they're going to do exactly that. 